okay. So we just relax the shoulders up a little bit. That's fine. And try and keep everything sort of you know straight. See, so look at this. down the nose to the jaw to the submental region, and make sure it sort of you know fits nicely with the manubrium sternum. Okay. Now you can see here any pulse here. What does that indicate? Do you remember from the other day? Aneurysm of the aortic arch. If you see one there, when you're looking there, see a pulsation. All right, send the patient away. Okay. We don't want one of those rupturing, do we? All right, so you've got the tragus of the ear. Okay, we all know what the tragus is. Okay, so you get your middle finger and you place the middle finger just in front of the tragus. Okay, you're right on the joint line now. And what I do is I just cut my hands round the head like this. So the head is in a neutral position, the patient's nice and nice and relaxed. And then we get the patient to open the mouth. So open the mouth for me. Keep going, keep going. Okay, and now close. And you can see there that on closing we have a very slight deviation to the deviation. right. So it's like it opens and then it curves round and comes back. Okay? So if you're getting that curve on the way back it normally tells us the actual muscles that close the mouth are hypertonic. You come and feel temporalis, masseter, and I can hook my little pinky under here and I can feel the medial pterygoid. And that is really tight in there, isn't it? Is that sore? Patient, are you pain? Any pain here? No, 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 no. it's okay? Good. Good. This is what we want. So we also need to assess other movements. So we open the mouth. Open the mouth, push the jaw to the right, and deviate right. So bring the jaw to the right for me, and now deviate to the left. Okay, now this is very interesting. Do you know? yes. the head a little bit back into extension so I can actually see that. Now, just open the mouth again. Right, now move the jaw to the right, and now to the left. Okay, so close the mouth again for me. A little bit of a click on that left side, eh? Yes. Right, so open the mouth again. So on opening, we can see there's a little bit of deviation to the left, but on closing, it's coming over to the right, okay? So that tells us two things. When the mouth opens, just open the mouth for me, all right? Close, a little bit of clicking here. So we've got deviation to the left to start with. So as the mouth opens, the lateral pterygoid is contracting but it's not contracting sufficiently to bring the, the disc into alignment. So the condyle rides over it a little bit and it makes a clicking sound, all right? You can't hear it, but I can actually feel it, all right? You can hear it and feel it, can't you? Yeah? When we close, that deviation over to the right tells us that the muscles on the right are a little bit tight. So you could find that what's happening is that the muscles on the right-hand side are trying to bring the jaw back over, back into the midline, because you've got this self-correction mechanism. If the jaw deviates to the left and then opens, on closing, the muscles on the right will then contract more, and that pulls it a little bit over to the right. So we haven't got sort of, you know, balance as such. Now, open the mouth halfway, push the jaw forward, and now back. That, that movement is also sort of, you know, restricted. And again, I, I can feel the click on this left-hand side. So that, that's telling me that the muscles on the left-hand side, remember that sort of, you know, the protrusion is, is what muscle? It's the lateral pterygoid, isn't it? The retrusion itself is gonna be digastricus and sort of, you know, other muscles as well, all right? So we need to sort of, you know, think about what's happening there. Okay, so that's just a straightforward assessment there. So. Just open the mouth again for me. Now close. All right. Now open the mouth halfway. Push the jaw to the left. Push the jaw to the right. Okay. And that movement itself should be round about one centimeter either side. So that gives you an idea. And then protrusion. Push the jaw forward for me. Open, push forward and back. All right. Again, that movement should also be around about one centimeter, approximately. You're going to find it more or less in some people, okay? So, then we palpate the actual muscle tissue itself. We can palpate, just grip your teeth for me. So, and I can feel more tension on the right temporalis than the left. 
again I come on to masseter just grit your teeth for me okay on this side I can feel a little bit more tension on the left than the right okay and I can come underneath the jaw and I can palpate the digastricus muscle okay we come up underneath So we've had a look there as well. Who's got a pen light on them? Let's borrow a pen light again, thank you. We'll just open the mouth. We'll just open the mouth and look inside. Open the mouth for me. We'll just have a look at the back, just to see if you can see the tendons, okay? Also, it's also a good thing to have a look inside the mouth as well, just to make sure there's, there's nothing unpleasant in there. All right? I always remember sort of, you know, seeing, uh, seeing somebody who's, uh, who had a, had a slide all right, sort of, you know, of uh, a dental sort of, you know, implant, and the actual dental implant, somehow uh, a tomato seed had got stuck in there and the tomato seed had started to sprout, all right? And uh, you actually could see this on, on the scan itself where the seed was and the, the roots were going into the gum. <laughs> Might have been a tasty tomato though, eh? <laughs> right, okay, any questions before you go and have a go yourselves? Who's for that? That was yours, yeah? Quite straightforward, open, close, side to side, back and forth, have a look inside, palpate, temporalis, masseter, and then the medial pterygoid underneath the jaw. Okay, thank you for being the model. There we are.